uh, good morning, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, thank you so much for attending the teleconference today. I am Suenaga Yuma from Taisei Cooperation in Japan. Today, I would like to give a presentation about urban ring method. Uh, you haven't heard about this method. Uh, this method uh, was developed in Japan almost 20 years ago and have been used to construct structures, urban areas. By this method, structures can be constructed in a limited space uh, with little sounds and vibrations. Also, uh, construction period can be shortened. Uh, the number of structures constructed by this method has been more than 100 in Japan so far, and the demand for this uh, method has been increasing. In today's talk, I would like to divide the, my presentation into four parts shown in this slide. Uh, firstly, I would like to explain about what the urban ring method is. The urban ring method was developed in 1996. Uh, by this method, underground structures uh, such as shafts and bridge piers can be constructed. Uh, this method can be adapted to a variety of uh, diameters and depth. As you can see in this slide, I will uh, talk about four points. Uh, one point uh, is that the method has little impact on uh, neighboring structures and ground. Uh, piling uh, machine is usually used when something is pressed into ground. Uh, however, it makes big sounds and causes ground vibration. Uh, on the other hand, covering method uh, needs pressing equipment, which is almost very silent in operation. That's why the construction of structures can be done uh, with little sounds and vibrations uh, by the armoring method. Uh, two points is that uh, structures can be constructed uh, in a limited space because this method doesn't need any large equipment. As you can see this picture, there is a, the urban uh, construction between highways, uh, one of which uh, was being used with cars running. Uh, we have we have to pay much attention just only when operating a crane. Uh, three point is that structures can be constructed by for a very short period of time. Every piece of rings is manufactured in a factory beforehand and doesn't need to be create, constructed in site. That's why the construction period can be shortened. Uh, four point is that this method can be adapted to a variety of diameters and depth. Uh, this diagram uh, shows the past performance of urban ring method. Uh, diameter of structures is uh, from two meters to about 15 meters long and depth is as many as 70 meters. Secondly, I will talk about the past performance for this method. This method was developed in 1996. For over 20 years, uh, the urban ring method has been used for many kinds of structures. This diagram uh, shows kinds of structures by this method from 1997 to 2016. Uh, the number of structures constructed by this method is more than 100 in total. Of all kinds of structures, shafts uh, account for uh, more than 60% in total. Uh, the second largest number is manhole. Uh, the third and fourth largest number are uh, base, which is uh, uh, base bridge pier and uh, bicycle parking, respectively. Uh, thirdly, I will explain about uh, 
how to construct a bridge pier by the uh, Abermig method by using some pictures. In the first step, uh, ground anchors are installed in the right position. Uh, these anchors are used uh, when a piece of ring is pressed into ground. In the next step, a position of the first ring is de determined, then the first ring is assembled. Uh, these rings are called a uh, cutting edge ring because it has sharp edge to the end, uh, so that it, it is very easier uh, for the first ring to be pressed into ground. Also, ground grout uh, is put into the void of the ring to improve the stiffness. Uh, much attention was paid in this construction site because a large crane was used to assemble a ring in a limited space uh, there were, where there were highways nearby. Uh, rings are connected with each other by welding. In the next step, pressing equipment and jacking equipment are assembled. Uh, ground anchors are connected with pressing equipment in this step. Next, uh, ground is excavated using a bucket machine while pressing the rings into ground. When excavation level reaches the water level, water is put inside in a pit to prevent flow to rings. After pressing a uh, ring, uh, pressing equipment is lifted up to make space for the next ring, uh, shown in this picture. Uh, in this step, uh, round shape uh, scaffolding is assembled. This scaffolding uh, fits the press ring. Uh, this scaffolding is divided into several parts for easy assembly. In the next step, water stop seals are attached along the ring. After that, a next ring is assembled and connected with the first ring by fastening bolts. Then, uh, scaffolding is removed and the second ring is pressed into ground. Uh, this action is uh, repeated over and over again until the ring uh, reaches the plant level. In the next step, uh, the accumulated slime at the bottom is removed by water pump. Uh, this is because slime has a negative effect on concrete, which is placed under water afterwards. In the next step, uh, concrete is placed uh, under water using a tranny pipe. This concrete has a high flow ability and high strength so that it doesn't separate under water. In the next step, grout uh, is placed between the rings and the ground uh, because there's a void, void. Uh, between them. After that, some brackets are uh, set up as float stopper uh, connecting a uh, ground anchor with other rings. Then, uh, water is drained to the concrete level. In the final step, uh, the uh, surface of the placed concrete is cleaned and the bottom slab uh, is constructed by setting up reinforcing steel bars and placing concrete followed by side wall and top slab. Uh, this is how the base of the bridge pier is uh, constructed by using this method. Finally, I will conclude uh, the outline of the oven rig method. In conclusion, uh, firstly, the method has little impact on neighboring structures and grounds. Uh, structures can be constructed with little sounds and vibration. Secondly, structures can be constructed in a limited space. Uh, thirdly, every piece of rings is manufactured in a factory beforehand and doesn't need to be constructed inside. That's why the uh, construction period can be shortened. Uh, lastly, uh, this method uh, can be adapted to a variety of diameters and depths. Uh, this is the end of my presentation. Thank you so much for your attention.
Thank you, Mr. Yuma Sinaga, for your presentation. For our delegate, delegates from the virtual platform, you may click on the rock on the top right of the video screen to enable the full screen function or just by simple, simply double clicking the pop up video. That concludes our formality for this morning. Ladies and gentlemen, we will adjourn for a 10 minute break. <laughs>